Are we living in a computer simulation? This question, once the stuff of science fiction and late night philosophical debates, has been given new life by advances in technology and neuroscience. As we dive into the rabbit hole of the human brain and its complexities, we find ourselves contemplating the very nature of reality. The simulation theory, in essence, suggests that our reality is not the base reality, but rather a computer-generated simulation. It's a theory that has been discussed, dissected, and debated by scholars, scientists, and even tech moguls. In the midst of this discussion stands Jeffrey Hawkins, a renowned neuroscientist, businessman, and engineer who has dedicated his life to understanding the human brain. In his book, A Thousand Brains, a new theory of intelligence. He presents a groundbreaking theory that not only redefines our understanding of intelligence, but also adds a new dimension to the simulation theory debate. Hawkins's theory, often referred to as the thousand brains theory, posits that each part of the neocortex learns complete models of objects and concepts. Essentially, our brains have a thousand different models of every single thing we encounter or learn about. It's like having a thousand different brains working in unison. Now, Imagine a computer simulation so advanced it could mimic this complex process. The simulation would not only replicate our physical world but also the intricate workings of the human brain. It would be a simulation within a simulation, a layered reality that mirrors our own. Hawkins's theory also suggests that our brains create an internal model of the world, which we use to predict the future. This model is continually updated based on new experiences and information. This mirrors the way a simulation might work, constantly updating and evolving based on new data. In a way, Hawkins's Thousand Brains theory could support the simulation theory. It presents a model of intelligence that could theoretically be replicated in a computer simulation. It suggests that our understanding of the world, our perception of reality, is not a direct interpretation of the physical world, but rather an internal model created by our brain. This is not to say that we are definitively living in a simulation, but it does provide a fascinating insight into how our brains function and how this could potentially be mirrored in a simulated reality. It opens up a new realm of possibilities for understanding not only our brains, but also the nature of reality itself. While a thousand brains is not a direct endorsement of the simulation theory, it provides us with a new lens through which to view and understand it. It reminds us that our perception of reality is just that, a perception, a model created by our brains. And whether this model exists in a base reality or a computer simulation, it is nonetheless a marvel of complexity and sophistication. So the next time you ponder the nature of reality, remember the thousand brains theory. It might not provide all the answers, but it certainly adds a fascinating layer to the discussion. Because after all, reality, simulated or not, is a complex and intricate tapestry woven together by the thousand brains within our heads.